Back here on the PAC Sports Network for our halftime show as we're at the break between Franciscan and Grove City. And we're now joined by the head coach of the Grove City Wolverines women's basketball team, Coach Jason Baker. Coach, first off, thanks so much for joining us today. And I know it's early on in the season. I know that you haven't had a ton of games under your belt. But going back to the weeks and really months leading up to the season, how was the preseason for your team? Well, first off, thanks for having me. Um, I appreciate come, um, you allowing me to come on, um, giving me the opportunity it's been great. Um, you know, we have a really good mix of um, upperclassmen that have kind of been through it all here and um, a really good group of young players that are really pushing people to get better every day. And um, it's it's been great so far. Well, I know that last year uh, the season did not end up the, the way you guys wanted it, falling short of the PAC tournament. So how much hungrier and, and how much motivation have you seen from this group coming into the year wanting to get back to that point? A lot. And, you know, it started last spring. You know, we, we saw, um, like you said, a, a hunger that, you know, we really needed to see more of. Um, our girls were, worked really hard in the spring last year and it carried over to the summer and then, you know, adding our freshmen into the mix and, and how hard they've worked this fall and this preseason and early on this season. Um, it, it is definitely a, a more hungry group. Well, I'm glad that you mentioned the uh, the veteran players that you brought back because one of them, most notably, is Mara Polchinski, your starting point guard. How much have you seen her become a leader and, and really not only of the team, but the offense specifically? Uh, she's done a great job with that. And, you know, she's embraced that role. And, you know, M uh, Mara is one of the better on-ball defenders that you're going to see. And so her ability uh, defensively to take teams out of what they want to do um, helps lead us to what we want to do on offense. So she she's done a great job with that. And then a player that I'm sure loves playing with Mara because she's able to get her open is Jaden Davensizer, your potent three-point shooter. She saw a major jump in her play from her sophomore to junior year, actually reaching into the double digits in points per game. What type of season do you see her having, especially with the improvement that she's already seen throughout her career? Uh, hopefully a big one. And, you know, she's battled injuries this uh, preseason and, uh, turned her ankle really bad um, in the preseason and is just now starting to get back um, to being healthy and, you know, missed our scrimmages. And so, you know, these games that we're playing right now are, are really kind of her working herself back into it. Um, but we expect once the conference um, schedule gets rolling that, that she's going to have a really good season. And then Clara Hannon has also been a, a very reliable player for you scoring wise, but she's been a great rebounding guard. So how much does that kind of maybe give you an upper hand against other teams, knowing that you've got a player that can be that good on the glass at that position? Yeah, Clara, Clara's kind of the glue of our team and, and does so many things well. Um, she's a fantastic defender. Um, like you mentioned, she's a great rebounder. She's really improved her shooting and her scoring this offseason and um, is another player that we really expect uh, to do great things this year. Now, who are some of the pieces that you have seen really kind of emerge as those newcomers, really, especially with some injuries early on and, and not to mention losing some key pieces from last year? Right. Um, our our freshmen are, are really is a really talented group. Um, Alexis Hudson will um, get a lot of minutes at the four spot for us this year. And, you know, so far has been great. Uh, I think she's averaging right around seven points, five rebounds a game for us in around 17, 18, 19 minutes a game. Um, Kaylee Devlin is another really talented guard, um, big guard that can do a lot of different things. Fantastic athlete. Um, but we've really had some sophomores step up too. Um, you know, Alexa McDowell just played her best game of her career um, against Pitt Greensburg. And, um, you know, we, we have some young players that are really stepping up. Um, Reese Hazley is another one that, you know, has been great uh, these last couple of weeks and, and someone that we expect a lot out of, too. So it's, it's a really good mix of young players and veteran players. Well, Coach, we're definitely excited to see how the season unfolds for you and the Wolverines. But before we let you run, I want to hear from you again with last year kind of 
ending not the way that you wanted it to. What characteristic of this team do you feel can really carry you throughout the year and be the difference in you guys getting back to the PAC tournament? I think our toughness. It's it's something that we talk about every day, and um, you know we're we're starting we're starting to see that on a daily basis, and we we really got a good look of that Saturday at Greensburg. And, um, you know, I, I think that is by far and away the characteristic that if we are to get back to where we want to get to, um, it's going to be because of that. Well, Coach, like mentioned, very excited for this year for you and for Grove City as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's Grove City's head women's basketball coach, Jason Baker. Don't go anywhere as we'll have more action of today's contest coming up next in the second half on the PAC Sports Network.